the 1920s ball in Denver, Colorado, better known as the White Rose Gala, today on Colorado Martini Living. The 1920s were a very special time. People were prospering. Women had the right to vote. They started cutting their hair short and wearing short dresses. And there was a whole new type of woman that was on the frontier of the 1920s. But prohibition was going on, meaning alcohol was illegal. So many of these speakeasies started sprouting up in the basements of hotels and buildings. And liquor was made in the bathtub or strange stills. And a lot of the alcohol didn't taste very good. So it was also the birth of the cocktail, the mixed cocktail with really good fruit drinks because they wanted to disguise the flavor of this alcohol, that this bootleg alcohol that didn't taste very good. So they started mixing it with juices. And a lot of cocktails that we still drink today are were born. So I have my hair all done for the White Rose Gala tonight. I'll be wearing a headband to make it a little more 1920s style and wearing a really cute flapper dress. I'm also wearing um, open-ended gloves so I can actually use my cell phone. Um, and Mr. Martini is wearing kind of a gangster hat um, with a vest. The one thing I've noticed about getting ready for this ball is that men's clothing uh, really hasn't changed a whole lot. That we were able to get his outfit completely um, at a department store and not have to actually get a costume. Now, mine I bought online, which I'll put a link down below of all the, th the things that I am wearing. Um, I found this beautiful, beautiful dress. I actually bought two. Uh, one in black and one in green because I'm planning on going to this ball every single year and these dresses were absolutely beautiful and the quality was really really good it's all beaded and has rhinestones on it um, but what I loved about it is it didn't look like a costume it looked like a custom made dress and it's absolutely beautiful so definitely check out the link below um, because I think that just even if you were going to a regular party, that this dress would be really fun to wear. So when you're going to a era event like we do a lot, we do the 1940s ball in the summer and sometimes we do the 1940s ball in the winter, um, they're really a lot of fun. Uh, they have everything from 1920s to 1940s, 60s, 80s, all the fun eras. Um, but this is the first time we've gone to a 1920s ball. So what type of things do you need? Um, well, again, the uh, male version um, is really just getting some type of fedora that has a wide brim on it. Um, otherwise, their outfits are very simple, usually a vest, a bow tie or a regular tie, maybe you know, rolling it up, um, your white shirt rolling it up, um, and some slacks, and maybe some wingtips, and they're good to go. Um, our dresses, as the women, are more of the flapper style. Um, so I just absolutely love this dress, and again, I will be uh, putting a link to it down in the description. Uh, but you know, it's your typical flapper dress with a you know, the frill on the bottom. Um, I actually have two dresses because I couldn't decide which ones. Um, this is the one I am going to be wearing tonight. Um, it's more of a green color. Um, so I'm really excited to be wearing that. Also too, um, the women's dresses had more of a heel um, like this. Um, I found these online too. And again, I'll put down in the description. Uh, where I got those. And remember, all the links that we put in our videos help support this channel. So we really appreciate you uh, clicking through with our links um, when shopping. Um, and so as you can see, it's, you know, it's got, it will come across like this um, when it straps. Um, and 
these are these beautiful black um, heels and they don't need to be a high heel. Um, also, you need, you know, something like, you know, a pearl bracelet um, to make the outfit. Um, I mean, isn't that gonna just look wonderful with this? I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, and then the headband, uh, which you'll see on me uh, once it gets closer to that time because I need to keep my hair nice um, until tonight. Um, and then this beautiful rhinestone necklace. Again, I bought all this stuff online. Um, the biggest thing is, is my girlfriend was saying, when we went to the 1920s, Christmas ball. Um, she wore gloves, you know, the ones that go up to your elbow, but that she couldn't use her phone. And being modern women, not 1920s women, we want to use our phone. And especially as a YouTuber, I want to be filming. So I found these wonderful gloves that will go up my arm, um, but it's lace on this side. Um, and this hooks onto my finger. So it basically will, when I put it on, will go like this. Um, and so I can actually do filming. Um, and then you can see my nice nails. So if you do wear these, um, make sure you get your nails done because it looks better. Um, it'll make it look more elegant. Um, and then of course, a boa. <laughs> One thing about these, you leave feathers everywhere. I mean, I pulled this thing out of the bag and I'm not gonna do it right now because the feathers were everywhere. Um, but they definitely wore boas and it will go really, really good with these dresses. So I am so excited and this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, it's so much simpler. We just got this at a department store um, and we bought uh, the bow tie online and it's just a basic dress shirt um you know like i said men's um fashion hasn't changed so much and then it, it's actually snowing here and it's cold um it is new year's eve um and so he kind of has this shiny jacket uh we felt that this was um you know very 20s uh the the shininess of it um, and you know, we could buy a lot of this stuff after Christmas at half off. So we ended up getting this half off also. Again, links down below. And then of course, you need to couple this with a gangsta. Gangsta. So a fedora. Um, so we actually bought this one online too. This is actually, out of all the things that we have, is really the only thing that I got at a costume store. But nowadays you can get, you know, nice fedoras at a store, but this was not expensive at all. Um, you know, and it's got the brim that comes down in the front. So pretty cool. So I have a couple of choices on earrings. Um, I have the ones that are in my ear. I have these really nice ones. Um, I think I'm gonna wear these. So you want something that's dangly. You don't wanna wear a hoop. Women in the 1920s didn't wear hoops. They wore more of these dangly. And most people didn't have their ears pierced. They wore clip-ons. As far as purses, um, this one has a little strap, you know, a little rope that goes over your shoulder. Um, and so does this one. They always had these small little purses they would take with them. Um, so I can't decide which one I'm going to use. So I'm going to take both of them. Um, this one probably would fit my phone better. Um, so, but this one goes better with my outfit. Decisions, decisions.